Hello tankers, welcome to another epic battle. I'm Pizza Guy and we'll be watching a nice replay from Pompus Magnus from Boba Clan. He's gonna play in his STB on airfield here. <coughs> I presume you already saw the map. Anyway, <laughs> wait, he's gonna go to the balcony. I don't think he's gonna get caught by anyone. He is pro LTTB. What a lucky shot. LTTB gets the ammo rack at the beginning of the game. Good thing the Batch did not track uh, Magnus. He would have been dead. Batch is shooting there. M103. Magnus really needs to disengage from that position. Not really. He wanted to return the favor to the Batch and put some shots into him. Guess that didn't work out. That isn't a really good position there. To show yourself in. He's gonna use Camel from these bushes. Maybe try and get some free shots. Oh. Seems like he's turning around. I7. Nice shot in the I7. And another shot here. It might be a tank destroyer. Who knows. It seems like the enemy team is pushing the J-line. Oh, they actually, actually pushed it. There's not a lot of people defending the J-line. The enemy team could easily go into... Oh, they could go here and do some damage. And... Object 430. Magnus gets a nice shot on him. They really need to deal with those guys. Another, another Object 430 there. Oh, he's very low on hit points. Shouldn't be a problem on that flank. Bad chat. So the fight seems to be balanced. Centurion T34-1, AMX-5120 going after the Object 430. But in the back there, there's an FE-183 lurking. Magnus gets a nice shot on the Batcha. It's really nice when you take the... Oh, 183 takes the Centurion 1 out of the game. It's really nice when you take hit points away from model loaders at the beginning of the game. That means they can't really suicide the uh, mid-game, late-game anymore. So standard play from Magnus here, playing from the balcony, getting shots left and right, getting some damage. He has 2,000 damage. Oh, VK. Actually, that's a low end, not a VK. What the fuck am I talking about? Anyway. One in the, I presume... Oh, bad shot. Unfortunately, Magnus did not get this shot. Would have been really nice to get that shot. 183 is pushing on the J-line as well. I presume T-34 as well. Oh. There we go, 183. And the Batchhead is having a really nice game there, killing everyone. Kill the Bulldog and the RT. There we go, Magnus takes him out. Score 48, not really looking good. We'll see if Magnus... He's going around, trying to do some damage here. We got an E4 full on hit points. That won't be really good. So the weakest, si weakest side it seems to be the south part. And yep, Magnus sees this and he's gonna go to the south part. LTTB was spotted in the balcony. Let's hope, oh, but he's still there. Magnus, turn around. Let's see how Magnus deals with these two guys, the 183 and the T34. T34 is going to be an easy damage farm, but the 183 you don't really want to take a shot from that guy. Magnus decided to put a shot in the T34. Oh, oh, 183. There we go. <laughs> that guy wasn't expecting Magnus to come out. I don't know why, but he wasn't really expecting it. Kind of a bad player. There we go, T34. Magnus getting some nice damage here. So 4.3k damage. Really nice game. The score is... The score is okay. Looking okay right now, I guess. T57 kind of solo there. Are you suiciding? Grill 15. I don't think it's going to be able to help the T57. T57 going to kill himself. Okay, that's interesting. Are you actually gets a kill on the T49. 9 to 10.
What a nice shot. It's kind of surprising that he got that shot. This is the STB still. It doesn't have that good... Uh, tries a blind shot here. And T57 is out. RU is out. And this is looking pretty bad. Now the STB has a lot of DPM, but what the fuck? Well, the... E4 and well nice play from the E4 to be honest. There we go. Girl 15. Nice play from the E4. Just came out. Simply came out and just shot Magnus in the, in the bush. That was pretty interesting. E4 might be a really good player. I don't know. But that was a pretty interesting shot. He knew he was going to be there. E4 still full on hit points. T34-2 solo there. He needs to back off. Or he's just going to be an easy kill. And Magnus actually going again to this position. Pretty dangerous if 34 comes out again like a potato and shoots in this this uh, bush here. It's going to be nasty for Magnus. LTTB. It would be a nice kill to take that uh, little shit out of the game. He's really fast and annoying, of course. Pretty dangerous. LTDB can get in a flanking position. And go flank, and he can cause a lot of trouble to Magnus. And there we go, LTTB. Come on, Magnus. LTTB going after the grill. Magnus will help the grill. And... There we go, one shot. LTTB is two shot now. Oh my god, and... Oh my god, the grill missed a shot, shot the ground, then went in front of Magnus. <sighs> T34-2 will probably get killed now, and Magnus is solo. Yeah, he is gonna be solo. So what Magnus does here, guys, of course, he's versus five enemy players. He's gonna go into a position where he can use his, you know, his view range, because that's one of his advantages. And of course, he's gonna go to a position where he can't get flanked that easily, and it will take a long time for the enemy team to reach him. And he's gonna go actually to the J9 position. Uh, if the enemy team do push for the middle, they need to cross this open field in order to get the Magnus, so that means Magnus will have shots on them. So we got an LTTB, a Borsig. Not really a problem that Borsi, but the E4 is a problem. Magnus is one shot for the E4. We'll see how he deals with that guy. And he's at 5k damage right now, and only two kills. Such a good position, this one. Uh, you can easily spot the middle, and also you can shoot in, t in the cap. A pretty good position, and you can't really get flanked that easily. Or get surprised. Someone's in the cap. And there we go, E4. E4, a shit ton of hit points. There we go, Magnus puts a shot into him. What is that? That's the LTTB. <laughs> Holy shit, he just... Holy shit, he just jumped off the cliff. <laughs> what the hell? I think LTTB wanted to come in and... Another good shot. Uh, LTTB wanted to come in and from behind and put shots into Magnus. He jumped off the cliff still. That was pretty bad. Yep, there we go. Oh, and LTTB lost a shit ton of hit points. Luckily for Magnus, he did not get hit by the T95. LTTB is one shot right now. I don't know what that LTTB did, but... Uh, oh, here comes the E4. E4 just shot, guys. So this is, this is incredible. E4 just shot. Magnus, being in an STB, he's got a lot of DPM to take this guy out before he can reload again. Really bad play from the E4. And Magnus can put even another shot into him. There we go. Takes out the E4. Big mistake from the E4 to come around and do a clutch shot in a fucking tank destroyer. Not really a good thing to do clutch shots in, in, in tanks that have a lot of damage. But anyway... Obviously, when you have a lot of damage, you kind of have shit aim time, so. You don't clutch out in an E4. 
or an E3, or a FAH, or whatever. Anyway, let's see how... Where's the T95, though? Oh, there we go, T95. What a nice shot from Magnus. Puts one on the hump of the T95. My hump, my hump. <laughs> and... M103 there as well. If that T95 gets close, it's gonna be a little bit nasty. We still we have the Borsig that can come from this the C line there. So Magnus is actually running away from that position. Good decision. We'll see what I don't know where, where the LTTB is. He might be coming with the Borsig from the from the C line. I think Magnus right now is going to flank, maybe catching that T95 with the side again and shooting him. We'll have to see. I don't think the T95 is that fast. Magnus should be able to catch him, put another shot into him. But he's it, Magnus is in a very dangerous position, guys. The Borsig could be at any moment at uh, D6 position. Oh my god, he, he was just a little bit too late. Missed the shot on the T95. And M103, Magnus just shot. M103 coming out. And he's staying there. Oh, mate, this is an STB. It reloads really fast. Let's see what Magnus does. I think he'll go deal with the Borsing. I'm not sure. And Borsing's not here. This is... This is... Interesting, we don't know where that guy is. T95? LTTB? Such a weird game. Magnus, guys. Uh, 8,000 damage, 4 kills. He's versus 3 players. And it seems like he's gonna go after the T95. Yep, and he's going, guys. Let's see how Magnus deals with this guy. It's gonna be pretty interesting. If he does meet the T95 face to face, it's gonna be nasty. Let's hope he does that does not happen. But right here, there's a lot of houses and a lot of cover, so T95 will have some problems here. And he's not here. What oh, there we go, T95. And he's actually aiming the other way. T95 is probably screwed right now. There's no there's no Borsig and no LTTB, nowhere in sight. And Magnus can easily take this guy out. Good kill. And I'm really curious, where the fuck is the LTTB and the Borsig? Magnus, I think he's going to the last position where the LTTB was spotted. What the f- Oh my god, this fucking noob. <laughs> oh my god, he first jumped off the first cliff, then he jumps out off the second cliff and gets himself on the side. And no one helped him, that's pretty funny. What? <laughs> oh my god, these people in games, what the hell are they doing? Don't tell me the Borsig is AFK, because that would be pretty, pretty dumb. We haven't seen him at all. We, we saw him, the last known position where that Borsig is, is at D2 position. And Magnus needs to get his seventh kill. Only 49 seconds left on that clock, guys. We'll have to see if he gets to that, posi that position. And hopefully the Borsig will be there. Thirty seconds. I'm really sorry to spoil the fun, guys, but it's actually gonna be a draw. That Borsig was nowhere in sight. So let's see the battle results. And, yeah, of course, a draw. I'm kidding, guys. There we go. Borsig, hello. <laughs> he was camping this entire time. 15 minutes, 15 minutes in a game, and you're saying in one position and just clicking on the screen. It's like worse than RT. And to be honest, that Borsig was the key to the game if he would have came behind uh, Magnus, maybe he would have killed him, who knows. But yeah, he was the, the key to the game there. And also the LTD fucked up. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you liked this replay. 
was really awesome was a really awesome replay i personally liked it a lot and i hope you did as well and i hope you learned something from it and uh see you on the next videos bye bye good luck and have fun